So last week on Friday, I was saying how Bitcoin can drop to $20,000 or $17,000. And literally the next day that just happened. And now Bitcoin is hovering around the $20,000 region. So I want to give you guys some insights on what's happening in the market and some reasons why I think it might just go even lower than that. Hey guys, my name is Alex and welcome back to the Crypto Nears channel. The market is pretty bad right now. And over the weekend, Bitcoin is at levels we haven't seen since 2020. And the big question right now is, is this the bottom of Bitcoin? And to be honest, if anyone telling you that it is or is not we don't really know actually but i'm going to be providing you guys some insights and analysis on what's going on but before we go on please like subscribe and comment on the video so we know what you guys are thinking and how you guys are doing in the markets again this is not financial advice and this is only for educational and entertainment purposes only with all that being said let's go right into the markets all right guys so this is the third week of june and last week bitcoin just broke the 200 ema lines and went to touch the twenty thousand dollar region and a low of $17,000 as well. Literally, I was saying, if you watched the previous video before when uh, Bitcoin was in the $22,000 region, that we're probably going to hit this area sooner than later. And honestly, I didn't know when that was going to happen, but it happened the next day when I first said it. And now we're finally here. So what's really interesting is that Bitcoin broke past the 200 EMA line seen by this yellow line. In the past before, in March 2020, when COVID hit everyone, Bitcoin just barely broke past that line. But then the next week, the candle actually retraced and went higher, confirming that the breakout was more of a false breakout than anything else. Today, if you're looking at Bitcoin, the breakout is quite clear and hopefully, I'm hoping that it might close higher uh, for this week. But honestly, we don't really know and it's more of me having a positive expectation than anything else. So what are my predictions for Bitcoin? And we don't give financial advice on the channel, but if you want to know what my opinion is and what I'm kind of expecting, here it is. So I am kind of expecting for Bitcoin to trade a little bit sideways throughout the days or throughout the week. On the day daily chart, Bitcoin is pretty oversold. So I am kind of expecting it to either have a retracement back up or to trade sideways for a bit. At the same time, I am expecting that Bitcoin might drop even lower than that. And I'll give some reasons why later on. But to give you guys some insights on what's going on so far, Bitcoin is currently in its fourth longest downtrend in its entire history, going at 222 days so far from its all time high. Honestly, I think this is going to go a lot longer just because what's happening in the world right now. Again, we have the war on Russia and Ukraine, and I think that's really the major catalyst of all things going bad right now. We have inflation going up, housing prices going up, food and oil at an all time high. So the big question is, why do I think Bitcoin might be going even lower than that? Well, first of all, this article by Yahoo Finance, recession fears royal markets amid Fed inflation fight. Right now on paper, the recession hasn't really been priced in. Uh, we kind of know that's going on, but on paper, the recession hasn't hit just yet. Last week, the S&P 500 logged its worst weekly performance since 2020, losing 5.8% after falling into a bear market on Monday. This decline also marked the benchmark index 10th loss in the last 11 weeks. For those who don't know, the S&P and Bitcoin are tied pretty closely. So if the S&P falls, you can really expect that Bitcoin, altcoins, and crypto in general is going to fall as well. So because of that correlation, I think that S&P, if we're to fall, Bitcoin, crypto will fall as well. Doing some small technical analysis of what's going on on the S&P 500, we're currently at $3,600 for the S&P. I think with the momentum going on and what's happening in the market, it's very likely we're going to hit $35,000 region and also touching the 200 weekly EMA. This is also a pretty strong support region for the S&P, but in the past, like March 2020 when COVID hit actually broke past that and it kind of went below that region for around three weeks before popping back up. And all honestly, that could be also the case for uh, this scenario as well, where it's going to hit here, maybe hover for a bit and might go lower from then. With that being said, it means that Bitcoin is going to go lower if the S&P falls as well. So where could that potentially go? And just going from the charts, I'm honestly eyeing that it's going to head to the 12,000 region. And I think this is going to be a pretty likely scenario if the $70,000 region doesn't hold. For myself, I'm hoping that we don't reach that level, but trying to be unbiased over here, this kind of looks like the case on a technical standpoint. So what are some other reasons why I think Bitcoin might go a little bit lower? Well, back in May, we had a USC crash. And then just recently, we had a Celsius crash and where withdrawals, swaps, and transfers were all still put on pause. And and with crypto going a lot lower now, there might be a chance for more Black Swan and major events to happen. One in particular that I'm keeping my eye on is Tron USDD. So Tron USDD still hasn't recovered its dollar peg after almost a week trading below a dollar. Tron stablecoin has yet to reclaim parity with the greenback. Going on coin market cap right now, USDD is still at 95 cents and it's a stablecoin. It's supposed to be at a dollar. On June 17th, the Tron Dow Reserve claimed that USDD is not to peg. In a pinned Twitter thread, USDD is a decentralized stablecoin that 
depends on an on-chain mechanism and collateralized assets. It goes on to argue that USDD differs from centralized stablecoins such as Circle's USDC and not being attached to the dollar in a very close spread by banking, mints, and redemption. According to Tron founder Justin Sun, USDD initially DPEG as a result of short sellers targeting the network's native token TRX on crypto exchange Binance. So for those who don't know, USDD is an algo stablecoin that started back in May 2022 of this year, kind of right before when UST crashed. And the reason why it kind of started it up was because of the success of UST. But now because UST has collapsed, there was a need to collateralize USDD. And in the past couple of weeks, the Tron Foundation has done just that. And so it is partially backed by a basket of assets. In this case, it is TRX, BTC, USDT, and USDC. But what's really interesting is that USDD and TRX are pretty much connected to one another. And you can kind of think of it as UST and Terra. They're both connected to each other by arbitrage. What's really happening is that because TRX is going down and because BTC is also going down, the collateralization value is dropping and hence why it's affecting the price of USDD. USDD in general is a fairly new token that's been out for around 40 days. And it's been a pretty significant token to the Tron Foundation as well. Because if you look on DeFi and Llama, Tron is actually the third biggest chain based on total value lock. And that's really has to do with the USDD being that significant edge on bringing that total value lock to that level. So as long as USDD is actually backed by what it says to be backed, it should technically be pretty good for the future. However, in a worst case scenario, if Bitcoin drops that much more, hopefully this stablecoin doesn't go through a death spiral. That's similar to that of UST or in, in Terra Luna. That's going to be really bad for market. And I think that's going to drop crypto and Bitcoin a lot lower as well. And speaking of stable coins, another thing that we need to watch out for and why I think Bitcoin might go a little bit lower is magic internet money or MIM. Over the past weekend, MIM depeg for a bit and dropped to 90 cents for around a day. Since then, MIM has gone back up to almost a dollar, but is currently sitting at 98 cents. And magic internet money is a pretty significant save coin as well on the AVAX chain. For those who don't know what MIM is, it's actually a stable coin by the famous Daniel Siesta. I think that's his last name. But if you don't know who he is, he's the founder of Wonderland Time Down. And I'm not going to speak too much about that, but we kind of know how it went on and actually the success of it. Regardless of the outcome of Wonderland Time, Daniel, he is a well-respected builder and he's a pretty smart builder as well. And if MIM depegs and crashes as well, crypto is going to go down and Bitcoin is going to go down as well. And for those who kind of want to know what happened with MIM, this Twitter thread by the Autism Capital, we have a scoop from one of our associates. MIM may be nearly insolvent. MIM is one of the larger stablecoins with a market cap of 300 million. We can't believe that a project called Magic Internet Money has been acting responsibly either. And just quickly going through what happened. Last month during the terror blow up, 12 million of bad debt was created by Abracadabra. Because liquidations couldn't happen fast enough to cover the protocol's MIM liabilities, this news was swept under the rug. And in a response to the depegging of MIM, Danny Yesta actually came out and said that the dashboard is up, you can check MIM is collateralized, and MIM is not an algo stablecoin, and it's actually over collateralized. So it's going to be interesting to see what's going to be happening with it. If it is over leverage or just some shady stuff that's going on, this bear market is surely going to draw it out. And if it does collapse, again, it's going to be bad for crypto in general. So honestly, overall, the market is looking shaky. This coming couple weeks and days is going to be pretty interesting to see what is going to come out in markets. But again, let me know what your thoughts are. Is this the bottom? Is it going to go lower? Or are we going to see Bitcoin at 100k in like, I don't know, a year from now? Let me know in the comments. And again, please like and subscribe and be sure to stay tuned for what's coming out in the future. Thank you guys and see you guys next time.